Hey everyone, it's Lexi. Welcome to Top 5 Wednesdays. If you're new to this channel, I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so don't forget, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. So today's topic is favorite unlikable protagonists, and this is something that I have really, I was really into this uh, topic. I think is something that I really enjoy. I really like the protagonists that aren't really likable. Um, sometimes, like sometimes I'll really hate that character, but there's, it was easy to find some that I think that are like characters that are very polarizing that are kind of like the leads in like a book or a series so without further ado let's get started so the first character is actually probably one of like my all-time favorite characters i can't wait for this next book to come out and it is Cormor cormoran strike i can never pronounce his name um from the cormoran strike series by robert galbraith which is basically the pseudonym for jk rowling and what i really like about him is he is very grumpy and kind of rude and just kind of doing his own thing but i feel like especially with like this type of personality i think he's that way for a reason and i think like the more that we learn about him in the upcoming books like the more will be a re revealed about why he is the way he is and I think that's why I find him so intriguing. I don't know what it is about him but I really really like him. I think he's a really unique character and he's kind of just doing his own thing but I can't wait for the next book to come out because this one was so good. If you were kind of iffy about um, The Cuckoo's Calling which was the first book and like the second one, this one was well worth the wait. I loved it. It gave me like a book hangover. It was so good. I don't know I can't wait till the next one comes out I haven't heard anything about when but I don't know I'm interested to see what more I think he's like I just how it ended I'm really just interested to see I think I really love his relationship between him and Robin and all that stuff I think it's really really interesting but I don't know like he is very arrogant I can see why he's unlikable but I just find him so intriguing that it's like I don't care what the heck he does like I still love him anyways uh so yeah so this one is also probably kind of a unlikable protagonist I know in particular she's very comes off as very polarizing and she is Kelsey from the Queen of the Tearling trilogy by Erica Johansson. This is probably one of my other uh, favorite trilogies like ever. I, it's really good but I think what is different about Kelsey is uh, her character in general but why she is very polarizing is that she kind of just has no filter. She says what's on her mind and she is very atypical from what we typically see in kind of I say this is more adult fiction, like fantasy, I'd say it's more on the adult side definitely, um, but she is very atypical from what is typically seen in, when you compare it to characters like Aelin or Farrah or any other like character in a YA fantasy and I think that's when people are reading this, like who are used to YA fantasy, she comes off very standoffish and I think that's why she's not well received and she's not really liked but I love her I think she I don't know this is like a really good like feminist book too I think um but she just says her like says what's on her mind she cares about what like happens to her kingdom and all that and I think she does it really well um she's really interesting too I think like just her whole background and her whole upbringing and just kind of her family history and just like everything that's kind of expected of her. I think she's just amazing and I think I can see why she is not really well received and unlikable um, but I think her uniqueness compared to the other characters that she's probably compared to make her like amazing in my eyes and I just love her. And so like this one's a little difficult because the TV show adaptation of it is really, really different, so I'm basing it off the book version of this character, and it is Dr. Miles from the Rosalie and Isle series um, by Tess Garrett, and this is probably one of my all-time favorite series. Thank goodness a new book comes out in August because, like, so I'm so excited for that. But basically, Mara is the uh, medical examiner for Boston, and she kind of, unlike her TV counterpart, she is very kind of standoffish. She kind of does her own thing, and especially towards later on in the series, she is really not really liked by the other characters and she's just kind of doing her own thing. I think that's why maybe some people may not like her in these books just because she's really kind of just does her own thing and is just kind of like 
I don't know, she's kind of like the stereotypical, um, kind of like boss lady, and I think that kind of perception can be like probably why she's not some like always well received here, and just kind of that like image of kind of you know that stuck up like businesswoman. Um, so, but I really love her. I think she's really complex. Like the two women that are kind of like the main characters in these books are really complex, and there's many layers to them, and I think. They're really interesting as well so if you're looking for like a new series to start i highly recommend you check this series out so good so <laughs> moving on to kind of like a tv show character i then have one that was also based on a tv show or based on a book but i'm basing this one off of the tv character um and it is dr brennan from the bone series which was like my all-time favorite TV show so sad that it ended but basically um, she especially within like the first couple of seasons she can come off very arrogant and she has like some social flaws as well she is socially awkward she doesn't get a lot of the cues um, socially so she does come off as rude and all that but I feel like that make like she's not really likable I find some people don't perceive her very well and I don't know I think like her flaws in that social flaws make her really intriguing just because I am socially awkward as well and she is socially awkward so I can relate to that and I think that's why I was so like drawn to this character because um, I can see myself as her like with those kind of things and also how she is kind of a woman who is also kind of very powerful in her job and then that can kind of come off as the stuck up businesswoman as well and just kind of that trope I guess you can say but she is probably one of my all-time favorite characters I love her so much so yeah I'm really sad it ended but now I can rewatch from the beginning that's what I'm planning on doing once I graduate and once I, I have one more year in my master's and then I'm done school and then I can focus on rewatching Bones but yeah I think she's just I don't know there's something about her that I think I know a lot of people don't really like but I think her flaws also make her very intriguing and very likable in my eyes and so lastly this is kind of like has a similar theme as well of like the woman in power like how people don't really like that and how like the stuck up like you know what I'm you know what I'm trying to say with that I'm trying to say because I don't want to say the word but it is Elizabeth McCord from the Madam Secretary series that's on CBS I really like this show I'm not really politically like I don't get a lot of the politics behind all this but I really really like this show and I think a lot of people may not like Elizabeth's character is also because she is the Secretary of State she has that kind of businesswoman like like um she has that businesswoman kind of aspect to her as well that make, I think especially kind of like the male side of it, kind of her like that stuck up kind of way as well and make her not really likable how she takes charge. Well, she basically is doing things that it's okay for men to do, but I think like that women don't really have like the authority to do in a workplace, I think culturally. So I think I really think this is really interesting as well, just kind of the dynamic behind this and like why her character is not well received, mostly by some male, like the male kind of side of it. But I think for women as well, this role is very empowering, which I really appreciate, <laughs> especially like I know like I really appreciate it, especially with everything that was going on with the election, it was good to kind of like lose myself in this political world um, and just kind of see a woman in power kind of fighting and just being successful. I really appreciate that and just kind of like the strong relationship that she has with her family and her husband and how her husband isn't supportive like her how her husband is supportive of her like and he's like cooking for the family more than she is which I think was really neat and how there's no cheating I think that's really important as well but that was often like a tangent but I highly recommend you check the series out it's on Netflix if you're interested so yeah so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video I was kind of all over the place and kind of went on a little feminist rant but that's okay um let me know in the comments below what some of your favorite unlikable characters are and what you thought about the ones that I have suggested uh so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time Bye, guys.